Hey everybody, it's Zach. Welcome back to the Heroverse. And guys, right now it is uh, 1.40, um, and I know I'm late to this news, um, but five hours ago we found out that Henry Cavill is no longer going to be playing Superman um, due to the fact that he had, uh, you know... Uh, uh, a meeting with uh, James Gunn and Peter Saffron and they told him that he is no longer going to be playing Superman and they're going to go a different route for Superman, a more younger route for Superman, a more earlier stages of Clark Kent's life, you know, being at the Daily Planet, being a cub reporter and pretty much, you know, we're going to be, you know, he's going to be, you know, inter getting introduced to, of course, you know, you know, you know, Lois Lane and stuff like that. So we can see a younger Superman and, 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 and a younger Clark Kent in the earlier day, in the, like, in the, in the start of him being Superman. Um, of course, it's not going to be, uh, you know, a retelling of his origin story of Superman. James Gunn is actually going to be writing the script. Um, that's as far as we know of all the stuff that's come out is that it's going to be like a story about Superman, about him, you know, about Clark. You know, it's, it's a young Superman story about, you know, a, you know, Clark Kent being a young cub reporter and being new to being Superman. So I like how it, like we're going to see the early stages of Superman. Um, and, you know, and a, and a young cub reporter, you know, and, and us getting introduced to, of course, you know, you know, Lois Lane and stuff like that. So I'm excited for all that stuff. That's great to hear. Um, but a lot of people are taking it hard that, you know, as we all know that Henry Cavill pretty much, you know, already, you know, you know, suited back up to officially come back as Superman at the end of Black Adam. I have not seen Black Adam. I really had no desire to see Black Adam. I still haven't seen it. Um, and I know a lot of people love Henry Cavill and love Henry Cavill's, uh, you know, uh, you know, you know, uh, you know, version of Superman. I was never really a big fan of Henry Cavill's Superman. So I'm taking this news as, you know, I don't really like care that he is no longer being Superman because I never really liked this Superman. And I'm actually liking that James Gunn wants to go a different route. And pretty much wants to go, uh, you know, wants to go the young, you know, uh, beginnings of Clark Kent, you know, at the, at the Daily Planet, um, you know, meeting Lois Lane at the beginnings of his, you know, a journey of Superman. So I, I really do like that he wants to go that route and go a different route and pretty much do a clean slate. As we all know, we heard, you know, of course, you know, a whole bunch of, you know, news articles that came out saying that, you know, s saying that, you know, people had an idea of what, uh, what, what they were going to be doing over at DC, Peter, and James about how, you know, they were going to do, like, either a soft reboot or they're going to do a, a full reboot. Um, some characters would, you know, some characters would, would, uh, would come to do different, you know, you know, characters, and some people would just, like, totally leave. So pretty much we have this kind of confirmed, um, but, you know, it was crazy because James pretty much came out about saying that a lot of this isn't true. Um, pretty much, you know, one of the articles saying came out that said, you know, James Gunn doesn't like Henry Cavill and Henry Cavill is not going to be coming back as Superman. He pretty much debunked on the fact of, uh, you know, telling everybody that that's actually not true. Don't believe everything you hear when it comes to articles. Um, and pretty much every, all the, uh, Henry Cavill Superman fans took that like, okay, you know, James Gunn debunked this. Henry Cavill is still going to be Superman. Um, you know, since he, you know, since he, you know, he, since you know, he just came back as Superman, but it turns out he is actually not going to be reprising his role. Uh, Henry Cavill, uh, posted, uh, and pretty much posted a big, you know, uh, you know, a pretty much a big, like goodbye on Instagram five hours ago. Uh, he said, I have just, uh, had him, I, wait, I have just had a meeting with James Gunn and Peter Saffron and it's sad news. Everyone, I will. I will, after all, not be returning as Superman after being told by the studio to announce my return back in October, which, of course, was, you know, his big debut back in Black Adam. Um, as we all know, a lot of people were happy about that, a lot of Henry Cavill fans of knowing that he was back, but it's, it's on the fact of the studio prior should not have asked him to return if they knew that they were not going to be there. Um, so that was on them on that one. You know, I do feel kind of bad for Henry Cavill because, you know, he really loves the role of Superman and he was really excited to be back. But, you know, James and Peter got to do what they got to do to save the DCEU universe. Like, they have to do what they got to do. Um, but, you know, he says, uh, you know, back, um, returned back in October prior to their hire, their, prior to their hire, this news isn't the easiest, but 
that's life. The changing of the guard is something that happens. I respect that James and Peter have a universe to build. I wish them and all involved with the new universe the best of luck and the happy the, the happiest of uh, fortunes. For those who have been by my side through the years, we can mourn for a bit, but then we must remember Superman is still around. Everything he stands for is still still exists, and the example he sets for us are still there. My turn to where the cape has passed, but what Superman stands for never, never will. It's been a fun ride with you all, um, with you all onwards and upwards. Pretty much saying thank you everybody for staying by my side. It's, it's very sad news after they told me to, uh, you know, put back on the cape, but you know, since there's new hires, they want to go a different route and, you know, you know, good luck to them on their on their new projects and stuff with the DC universe. So that was really nice that he posted that. It was very civil and it was very, you know, he was very grateful for the time he had as Superman. Um, it was, it, it's, it's a great way to, you know, say good for him to say goodbye to the character of Superman. Again, I know this is very hard for people that, you know, love him as Superman, but like I said, I'm this, I, this was very happy news for me because I just, I really don't like his Superman. I just thought it was always too dark. I always thought, you know, when he did get put back in as Superman, I was like, you know what? Maybe this time, if it's written in a different way, and someone has the right, and someone you know has the right writing, like for him to actually give, like actually give him the writing of how Superman should be, maybe he would do a pretty good job. But I don't know. I just was never a, a, really a fan of Henry Cavill when it came to Superman and him playing the character. But you know, I'm really excited that you know James has. You know, I mean, James is going to be writing the script for Superman, uh, you know, the new Superman movie. But I'm really curious to know who one who's who's going to be playing the new Superman and two who's going to be directing the new Superman movie. I'm, I'm super excited um, just to see what route they're going to go with, like not only like who they're going to be casting, you know, you know, who the director is going to be, what the tone is going to be. I'm just super excited to see how all this will be. Will it be like more of like a I'm really hoping it's like, you know. Like it's, I'm really hoping it kind of feels like how uh, Superman and Lois feels, and how like you know we kind of saw in the first episode this is Superman and Lois with the pilot. We kind of saw like how it was like a young Superman and a young Clark Kent at the Daily Planet. I hope we get to see a lot of that. I mean, let's be honest, the two best super Superman shows that were ever on TV was Smallville and Superman and Lois. And I'm really excited because I feel like, you know, James Gunn kind of understands like what people want as what people want for Superman and what we don't really get to see enough of of Superman was, you know, I feel like, you know, even though we did have the show of Smallville, and of course, you know, we, we got to see the pile of Superman and Lois. I want to see the earlier days of, you know, him, you know, being Superman, you know, like him starting out as Superman, and him being a, 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 like a cub at the Daily Planet, and him getting to meet Lois, and, you know, we really get to see the younger days of Superman, you know what I mean? And we actually get to really, like, explore those stories of, you know, him encountering villains and stuff like that. I want to see that more, and, you know, and really see a world being built up from the ground up of him not not an origin story but like really get to see the earlier days of superman and really get to see the world build up around hopefully around the character of superman so i i really hope that you know this new universe works that james and peter have you know set for themselves and and, and where they want to go with you know the stories and the writing i'm actually really excited for this and i really haven't been excited for you know a dc project in a very long time you know the last you know it was you know, excited DC project I was really excited for was the Batman. And that's not even really, that's not even a part of their universe. Um, and I'm really happy because I feel like, you know, I'm hoping that James can really, and Peter can really give like a new light to the DC universe. I'm really hoping that they can really pull this off. Um, and I always said, you know, that, you know, a lot of people have full faith in James Gunn. I personally don't because, again, uh, being a director isn't the same as, you know, directing like a, a full on universe. I'm really hoping that he that he'll use whatever he learned from Kevin Feige and he can actually really pull off this, you know, universe uh, for the DC for for DC. I'm really hoping. Um, 
but other than that, you know, I, I, it's, you know, it's, it's pretty sad news uh, for all you uh, Henry Cavill fans. But for me, this is just, you know, I'm really excited because, you know, that I feel like this is the, 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 the fresh, the, the breath of fresh air that, you know, the DC universe needs is kind of like a clean slate. And it's, it's good that, you know, they're going to be, you know, say, you know, having this, a lot of the actors that play these characters play other characters. Like, um, I heard that, uh, that was it. Jason Momoa is going to be playing, uh, another character. So, you know, that's really cool. Um, and I, you know, like it says, it says, you know, Henry Cavill might be playing a different character in the DC universe. So maybe, maybe that's possible. Maybe he'll be playing a different character who knows, or maybe later down the line, he'll play it like an older Superman. If they do anything, you know, uh, you know, whether it be, you know, time travel wise with the flash or something and all that, you never know. Um, but it's crazy because, you know, like I said, I, I'm not really excited for the DC projects that are kind of like coming out with like Shazam and Aquaman 2 and and The Flash. I'm not seeing Aquaman 2 or The Flash movie because of all the controversy, controversy that's happening with them. I, ju I just can't get with what, what get get with what's going on with all that shit. Um, but, you know, the, the project I'm pretty damn excited for is Blue Beetle. I'm not very familiar with the character of Blue Beetle, but I'm excited because Sholo Manaduena is playing, uh, you know, Blue Beetle. So I, I'm, I'm excited for that. Um, and really, uh, the only other projects I'm really excited for is, of course, you know, Joker 2 and Batman 2. Um, but I'm really excited for the Superman movie. Like, Superman is definitely my, like, he was, like, my first, like, Superman is, was my first ever... DC character that made me love DC. Um, you know, Superman Returns was the first movie I watched that got me into the character of Superman. Um, that's still by far, you know, I know a lot of people don't like Superman Returns, but I like Superman Returns because it has that feeling of how Superman should be. I think that's the best, you know, you know, kind of like movie adaptation of Superman and the world of Superman. Um, even though a lot of people don't like it, that's the best interpretation of Superman we've had on screen in my personal opinion um but yeah guys again here if you're new to the channel subscribe to the channel put in notifications like this video i would love to have you guys here a part of the fam a part of the channel well about spreading love positivity and motivation and yet again guys we're almost to uh you know uh you know, we're actually we're, all, we're we're well on our way to getting into 600 subscribers right now i want to say we're at five five hundred and i want to say uh 90 something i think we're at 590 seven if i'm correct so you know we're almost to uh you know we're almost into 600 subscribers so yet again i would really appreciate it if you guys can get me to 600 subscribers um and yeah guys i mean i'm just excited for the future of, of the dc universe um I'm, I'm i i've um i'm just i'm just pretty excited again i i don't have full faith in what james gunn is doing but what i'm hearing is giving me a lot of faith that the best way to do it is to fully reboot it and I, again i don't really understand why they were going to do an aquaman 2 movie or in a flash movie and a shazam movie if they're just gonna if the flash movie is just gonna undo everything and pretty much reboot everything i, I just never understood that it would have saved them money if they would have just made the flash movie right after the, the you know the snyder cut it would have made most sense to just start with that movie and then just do a full a full turnaround but Hopefully, you know, they'll do some editing and stuff to make it where when that movie happens, it could set this universe, James's universe and Peter Saffron's universe on the right track. I'm assuming that that's what they're trying to do. Um, but yeah, um, I'm, I'm just, I'm, it's, this is, you know, and, and all the sad news of this about Henry not returning for some people, the news that he brought about him writing the script for the new Superman movie and, and hearing what the movie is going to be about makes me very excited as a Superman fan myself and as a DC fan myself, this is giving me hope for their universe and, uh, and that really makes me happy. Um, but guys, that was the video. Hope everybody has a great day, a safe day, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace.